Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the next bout tonight, four rounds, this in the light heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing blue trunks, trimmed in white, he weighed it officially 175 pounds. He enters the ring tonight for the third time as a professional from Gainesville, Florida. Here is Will. Bad news, Williams. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing black, trimmed in gold, weighed in officially 169 pounds. In two professional bouts, he stands perfect with two victories, both coming by way of knockout from Miami, Florida. Here is the undefeated babyface, Nico Bandez. And Jeffrey in charge of the action is Raul Caiz. Okay, gentlemen, both your trunks a little high, so punches here are fine. Shake hands. Remember, no punch behind the back of the head. Good luck to both of you. Well, okay, senior, third man in the ring tonight. The tail of the tape. Doug, one thing stands out. Well, Babyface has got youth on his side. He's 13 years younger. Man, Will Williams, six inches taller at six foot five, also has a significant reach advantage. And folks, you may not want to go anywhere based on track record. Mr. Williams, two fights, both ended in first round knockout losses. And the three fights that we've had tonight, the first round stoppage, second round, and the first one was the fourth one. Seven fights total in the last edition, the LA Fight Club leading. We're going to wait towards the main event of Abraham Lopez and Sergio Lopez. Lopez against Lopez. Beth the Durant, Steve Kim, and Doug Fisher coming out strong as Nico Valdez in the black, attacking the body, even the black trunks with that blonde dyed hair. Valdez wanted to get inside as soon as possible. You don't want to give somebody with that kind of height and reach advantage distance. Body work from Will Williams. Williams had trouble at the scales. They finally had to rework an agreement as Valdez just wanted a fight. Here, the final fight of the year. And oh, down go goes inside. Williams early Two, in the first. Three, four, Nico! Five, you okay, babe? Six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. That's it. That's it. That's it. Come on, that's not a fight. Oh, I didn't, I, I didn't even see what really Relax. put him down. Uh, that didn't take long. Relax. Well, now I know why they agreed to change the contract. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're not going to go and do anything, you saw that already. Let's see Nicole right here. Maybe a delayed you know, effect from a shot be that landed you. behind the head. Guys, uh, that looked like a left hand that missed right behind the ear of Williams. It looked like right. a two-hand shove down from Nico Valdez. And at that point, Will Williams decided to call it a night by finding a soft spot on the canvas and waiting for Mr. Caiz to go to 10. Not much of an effort. That's not exactly going to win him a, a purple heart in the eyes of boxing fans. Well, that was his first fight in four years for uh, Will Williams. And you know what, Beto, this is the type of performance, I don't want to be harsh about this, but I, I, we have to tell the truth here. If you're a local commission, that's the type of guy you flag yeah. and say, you know what, maybe you need to find another line of work. Well, it's funny you say that, Steve, because he had trouble getting a license reinstated in Florida. That was part of the reason he had the delay. The California one came through, they usually meet with his younger brother, making the trip across the country. Well, Nico Valdez, 3-0, three stoppages. Green would be a good way to describe him. And yeah, Joe Martinez is ready to go. You ready, Joe? Well, then go. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes the official time, 46 seconds. Round number one. Referee Raul Caiz reaches a count of 10. Your winner declared and still undefeated. Babyface, Nico Valdez. Oh, yeah. So, what was his time? Did you guys hit the time on that? 46 seconds. We had 46 seconds? Nico Valdez said he was uh, going to have the fastest knockout ever at LA Fight Club history. Okay. He called the shot. So he did his homework on Will Williams, in other words. <laughs> I, I tell you what, you can't pull fans though. I'm looking at my Twitter account. I don't Somebody even says, look. The classic, I'm 
I'm going to make it look like I'm trying to beat the count. Yeah, that's from Ryan Scalia of UCN Live. Hi, Ryan. Thanks for watching. Ryan's the, one of the best <laughs> overseas correspondent. <laughs> Jessica Rosales is with Babyface Nico. Uh, yeah, you know, Beto, not only did he say he was going to have the fastest knockout in Velasco history, he made a promise to me yesterday during our interviews that a 90% chance he would get a knockout in the first round. Nico, you got that first round knockout, came out very aggressive today. Tell me about that. Uh, I know I know that he cut a lot of weight, and I thought like his body was going to be weak and I was going to be able to take over. And I had called out this morning that I'm going to get the fastest knockout, I think, in L.A. Fight Club history. And I don't know if it is. I got to look it up, but I think it was pretty fast. And, Nico, also, your last fight, you told me that the night before you had to cut 13 pounds. You felt that difference in the ring the day after. This time around your camp, you said it's the best camp you've had. You felt great. Yesterday, before the weigh-ins, you were excited. You were jumping up and down. You were feeling absolutely fine. So tell me what was different about this camp that helped you make weight easier? This camp, I, I took my diet a lot more seriously. I didn't Usually I'll cheat, and, I'll, and then I'll stop cheating two weeks before the fight. But this time I didn't cheat one time in the past like six, six uh, weeks. And I had uh, my Olympic Cuban trainer, Pedro Roque, and I had my uh, my original trainer, Lazar Stoyudinovic, and it was just the best camp with them, too. They worked perfectly together. We know that you're pretty big on social media, so what are you going to post tonight after this win? I'm going to post my winning dance, because I had a little winning dance that I did. Let me see the winning dance. What is it? I don't. I can't do it. you got to oh. look me up. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> I don't know. Beth and Doug and Steve, you guys should be up here as his backup dancers. All right. Well, Nico, congratulations on the win tonight. We're looking forward to that post with a, a longer dance, okay? Thank you so much. And I want to see if I could get on the December 17th or December 16th card. Please. All right. We'll send it to the guys right inside.